people are seeing this forecast for more rain, and they're getting worried tonight about flooding in their neighborhoods. And tonight at 11 o'clock, our own Emily Longnecker spoke to some folks who are still dealing with some high water before tomorrow's storms. Hi, Andrea and Scott. Right now, the White River here in Broad Ripple is at a minor flooding level, and officials here in Marion County, emergency officials, they are monitoring how high the water level is. They are urging folks that live in areas prone to flooding to have a plan. It is a similar story in other counties. It puts a little bit of dread on everybody around. For the folks who live near Noblet Park in Columbus, the east fork of the White River getting like this and flooding the park is nothing new. We've been flooded twice really bad in 2008, and we had about seven foot in basement. The park is right behind Anna Garcia's house on Lawton Avenue. We have a sump pump, so it does pretty good. Until it gets up to the alley, when it gets to the alley, we know it's coming in. You've got enough, you know, uh, sump pumps, you can keep it out of there. Joshua Parton has three. As long as it stays, uh, you know, below major flood level, uh, it's, we're generally okay over here. Tuesday, the river was at a minor flooding level. It's been going up all day like that. North of Columbus, in Edinburgh, the Driftwood River was already at moderate flood levels. In Madison County, heavy rains in Union Township brought on localized flooding, with the Chesterfield Union Fire Department having to rescue a person who tried to drive through high water. The Spring Valley High School football field in French Lick remained flooded out after more rain. And Hamilton County issued a flash flood watch through Thursday at 8, handing out sandbags to residents who wanted them. Gladys Wanger knows what she wants. Honey, it's rained like seven days. I'm ready for the rain to stop. And several counties have issued safety tips in anticipation of more rain. They are urging folks, if you're in an area that starts to flood, to get to higher ground. And of course, they're reminding folks not to try and drive across flooded roads. They are trying to remind people just how powerful a force water is. Andrea? Emily, thank you.